everyone welcome back if you do not know my name is Devin here on my channel I cover all things beauty that includes makeup fragrance and designer here and there if you think that is something you'll be interested in then I hope you stay and subscribe to my channel don't forget to click the notification bell so you're notified every week when I upload and in today's video we are going to do a fragrance haul this is going to be the very last fragrance haul for 2023 but technically so today is December 31st um, but you'll be seeing this in 2024 so yeah so you guys if you want to see all of the new fragrances I got towards the end of the year then just keep watching first of all happy new year's everyone um, I hope 2023 was a good year and if it wasn't 2024 is a better year for you 2023 was pretty great to me and my family um and i'm just praying and hoping for better things 2024 so yeah and i also want to thank you guys so much for being here and subscribing to my channel because you do not have to be here um we are at like 2100 subscribers i would love to hit 2500 for my birthday my birthday is january 31st so if you guys could help me, I would greatly appreciate it if you continue to like, watch, and share my videos so we can push it out there. So yeah, um, now you're going to see me kind of moving back and forth because the sun is kind of like glaring and being very, very bright today. All right, so in this video, I have a few different fragrances. So I have some that I have not talked to you guys about and some that I have. So we're just gonna kinda just jump in. So this first one is actually going to be one that I've already talked to you guys about. And if I have already talked to you guys and done a review, I will have them linked below so you guys can check it out. But this is the last release from the house of Kaali. It is Eden Sparkling Lychee, which it comes in this beautiful packaging. And I personally love Kaali's packaging. I know I've already said that before, but yeah. So this is what she looks like. As you can see, mine has a little dent in her. I have been wearing her, but I'm actually going to be putting her down in um i don't know if she's gonna be on a tray for january but i'm definitely going to be putting her down pretty soon and letting her sit for a little bit and then bring her back out for spring so the keynotes in here are black currant sparkling lychee rose damascena candied violet sugared amber and sandalwood so i actually really really enjoy this fragrance i was probably one of the few well it's, it's a lot of people that actually enjoy this fragrance but it is a lot of people that don't I actually really really enjoy this fragrance she is super super sweet very fruity candy like i just love it it's so playful and pretty and it's just so fruity so i love this fragrance and you know there are like i said some there are some people that do not like this fragrance and don't enjoy it they said it was, it was kind of like childish and i don't think any of that i really enjoy this um now the long longevity is definitely not there i don't think it's there because it's kind of like a really sweet, fruity, juicy scent. And I feel like a lot of those don't always last the longest, but I am gonna let her sit, um, put her back in the box, let her sit for a couple of months and see if she gets like even better. But like the scent of this is beautiful. The scent is beautiful and I don't know, I just love it. It makes me happy, it's really bubbly. And this is just a very uplifting fragrance. So I thoroughly enjoy this one. Another one that I have not talked to you guys about, but I got it recently because it was on sale on Ulta and I had been wanting to try it. So I decided to go ahead and get it. And this is going to be, um, this is by the brand Sniff and this is Tarte Deco. And it looks like this. I love the packaging on here. Like it's so nice and kind of looks and this is how the box looks inside of there and you open it up and you pull out the fragrance but I already have the fragrance sitting right here and it looks like this. Such a cute little bottle. What size? How many ounces is this? This is a one ounce a bottle. And I can't, remain, I can't remember the price on this, but I will have it on the screen for you guys. But this is a cherry fragrance, right? So I have really been into cherry fragrances lately. And um, I'm gonna tell you the scent notes on here um, from Fragrantica because I don't know them. Sorry, by heart. The top notes are black cherry and raspberry, middle notes of rose, jasmine, and mimosa, base notes of vanilla, birch, and vetiver. So 
I have heard really, really good things about this one. And so I wanted to go ahead and get it and try it. And y'all, with this one, I really, really enjoy this one. So yes, this runs in the same family as like Tom Ford's Lost Cherry, Kayali, um, the Kayali Cherry one, a lot of the cherry fragrances. Like they all kind of smell extremely, extremely similar, but this one, I really, really enjoy. So I don't own Tom Ford's Lost Cherry, but I do own a couple like dupes for it. So I do have the Kaoli one. And to me, I really enjoy the Kaoli, but that one can lean a little woody, a little more unisex, a little bit more masculine, but still very beautiful and sexy. Whereas this one, I just get a lot of like this juicy, dark cherry and vanilla note, fruity. Like I get a lot of the cherry, but it's something very smooth about it. Like this one to me is a lot more smoother than the Kaoli. And I did test them side by side on my hand because I was trying to figure out like, do I need both of them? Because you know, a lot of cherry scents tend to run in the same family and smell the same, but I do. I do, do need this one. So I am gonna keep this one. And I actually think I'm going to be putting on her her on my tray for January um, to get a little bit more use out of her because honestly, I don't feel like I'm going to be wearing cherry scents past like winter. So I wanna go ahead and use her now because I won't be pulling cherry scents back out once winter is gone until like fall. But I love this one and it smells really, really good. And if you can catch her on sale, I would highly recommend it. Um, and they do go on sale sometime. So this next fragrance was really, really hyped up, right? So it was hyped up in the body oil um, and I did not like the body oil. So this is at Ulta, right? It's a brand y'all have been hyping up for like the last year or so, but now it's getting even more hype on like TikTok and stuff because my best friend was telling me so when I originally smelled the original body oil last year, I hated it. I thought it stink. I thought it smelled like musty feet. Um, <laughs> but now I'm ready to reevaluate it and try it again. So why not pick up the perfume, right? So this is by the brand Namats. I think that's how it's pronounced. And this is Vanilla Musk on a parfum. It looks like this. And what's really cool about this packaging, right? It looks like wood, but when you open it up, inside it's like this little, I don't know what this is called, but it's that my brain. But you can spray this with the perfume and close it up and it's supposed to be like a fragrance diffuser. So yeah, but it comes inside this little packaging. I feel like it's packaged really, really like, I don't know, cute. And this is what the fragrance look like. And it looks like that. Very, very similar to the oil bottle, but the oil has like colors on it. Like it's a colored bottle, but it's the same like little pointy capped shape. And yeah, the fragrance notes in here are vanilla, cake, and musk. Um, why? I still don't know how I feel about this fragrance, okay? Like I still don't know if I'm 100% sold on this fragrance. I don't know, but what I will say is I got out of the shower the other day and I forgot what I was wearing, but I ended up putting this on um, with like some regular vanilla. It might've been vanilla bean Noel, okay? And I put this on and my husband could not stop sniffing me. He kept telling me how good I smelled and was asking me what it was. And I was just like, you like this? And he was like, yeah, it smells really nice. And I was just thinking like, I don't know how I feel about this. It's like, I like it, but I don't know. It's, I cannot, I have, I cannot describe what this smells like or what it reminds me of at all but it's very vanilla and musky to me but the musk is like i don't yeah i don't know i don't know i have to really do some like evaluation and think long and hard like what this reminds me of off the top of my head i know it reminds me of a really high-end 
perfume. Um, I'll pop the picture in because I cannot remember the name of it. I'm not seeing it's a dupe, I'm not seeing it's exact, but it is very similar. Like something about that one and this one reminds me of each other for some reason. So yeah, I don't know. But I don't hate it, but I just don't know how I feel about it. It's very powdery and vanilla. Like it's a powdery vanilla and musky, musky powdery vanilla. If you like powdery, sweet vanilla musky scents, you will absolutely love this. And honestly, I think I'm keeping it because my husband loves the way it smells on me. I just think I have to like, figure out what it is that it smells like. It smells like something and I cannot for the life of me figure it out, but I don't actually hate it. I like it more in this fragrance than I did in the oil, but I do want to go back and, you know, try the oil again. Um, but yeah, this one retails, I know for sure retails for like 60 bucks. So not too bad. This is a 50 ml bottle. So, you know, it's not bad. But yeah, we we just we gotta we gotta figure that out, okay? And moving on to the very last fragrance for 2023. I'm so excited about this fragrance, y'all. This is my first fragrance from this fragrance house, and definitely will not be my last. Um, I have put a few fragrances on my list and told them to choose, and this is the one I got. So I'm so excited. So this is from the House of Navitas Parfums, and this is Amorous Intense. This is by y'all favorite girl on YouTube, AI The Great. And I have to say the packaging on these bottles are like stunning. And I know people have already said that, but this is my very first fragrance from this house. So it's just, it's, it's so like luxurious and for the price it should be, but you know. But this is the bottle, which again, you guys have already seen it. So it's nothing new here. Um, I'm really late to the train a couple months because like this was a Christmas gift. So yeah, so mine has actually been sitting since she re-released this one back in, I don't know, was it October maybe? I can't remember when this was released or re-released like, I don't know. Sitting here since then, I never knew which one it was. So it's been wrapped up for a couple of months. Um, so, so this is the bottle. Obviously, everyone already knows what this is supposed to be like. This is supposed to be, well, a lot of people are comparing it to a like Jolly Rancher or something like that. Something very sweet and candy like. And I definitely, definitely get that. For some reason, I am picking up the green apple, but I'm picking up a lot of pear. I don't really get any coffee in this fragrance, but that's okay. I didn't really need that, but I do get like, it's supposed to have, let me see. So it says top notes of apple, pear, and almond, middle notes of ylang ylang, rum, coffee, and base notes of sugarcane, caramel, whipped cream, and cinnamon. It's the base notes for me. It is the base notes for me. That is all I get. It's super, super sugary, sweet, and just, I don't know, it smells delicious. Like, this is definitely a spring and summer fragrance. This is what I will be wearing this in, even though I got it for winter. You can still wear it now because I've worn this like three times since opening it up. I wore it on Christmas, the day after Christmas, and then somewhere in between. So I have already worn this one. I got a really decent amount of longevity on here. I was still able to smell it after six hours. This fragrance lingered in my bedroom for hours. Like you, I sprayed it on and you can still smell it in my bedroom hours later. I thought it smelled amazing. I actually got a compliment um, when I wore it to the mall the next day after Christmas. My husband thought it smelled amazing on me. He complimented me nonstop when I wore this. He kept sniffing me. I loved it. It smells really, really beautiful. I think she did an awesome job. Some people were not really feeling this. Um, so I was a bit skeptical when I opened it up and seen it that it was this particular bottle, but 
I do absolutely love this one and I would totally go repurchase I would totally purchase the first one she did too because I do have a decant of that thanks to my girl here on YouTube Savings Fashionista she sent me a decant and that one smells amazing it's just more sexier than this one this one is a little bit more playful and girly and fruity I see on here people are saying it is very fresh green aquatic I don't really I, I kind of get that I kind of get that but it's to me it's just very very sweet I just get a lot of fruity sweetness in this one so I absolutely love this one this was a this was a this is a hit for me and I cannot wait to pull her out more in 2024 she's she's gonna turn heads so yeah guys that is it those are all the fragrances that I have purchased for the end of the year I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in another video Bye.